Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of simplifying expressions and order of operations. This is standard 5.4F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression here that's got some parentheses, some brackets, some addition, and multiplication, and division. So that means we must need our order of operations. So let's figure that out real quick. PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, helps us remember. So we're going to take care of our parentheses first, and we actually have two sets of parentheses. So our inner set of parentheses is right there, but then you see these brackets out here. These brackets also serve as a set of parentheses. They're just a slightly different shape because when they get stacked on top of each other, it's easier to kind of differentiate the inner and the outer. So we'll take care of the parentheses first. No exponents to worry about in fifth grade. Next, I'm going to write these two together, multiply and divide. I'm going to separate them here just because I want you to see that they are inverse operations, which means they are equal. You can do division before multiplication if you see it left to right. We just have to write them in a certain order to make our little saying work out. Same with addition and subtraction. Those are inverse operations. Those are the final level. You can do subtraction first if it comes first, left to right. So I'm going to rewrite our little expression here, a little bit bigger. So there's my bracket. So my bracket's going to serve my parentheses as a parentheses, which means I'm still going to do order of operations within that bracket. So within this bracket, we always do order of operations. We don't necessarily move left to right because that bracket is kind of serving as an expression within an expression. And you see within this expression, I've got an addition, I've got an addition, and I've got a division but I've got this parentheses here. We're always going to take care of that parentheses first. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take care of this parentheses first. And so let me rewrite everything else. This 10, the 10 is going to, it's on the outside of the bracket. That's going to be the last thing that we do. So we're going to take our 3 plus, and I'm going to say 7 plus 5. Let's collapse that down to 12 divided by 3. And we still have these brackets. So now within this bracket, which is serving as a set of parentheses, we still need to use order of operations. So you notice we have two different operations. From left to right, we have addition and we've got division. But if we look at our order of operations, take a look at this. Division is going to come before addition. So that's going to get us two totally different answers. We need to make sure we're going to take care of this division first because even though it's to the right, it is of a higher order than our addition. So let's do our 12 divided by 3 first. So 10, bracket 3 plus. So what is 12 divided by 3? That's going to be a basic fact. That's 4. So now we are getting closer to the end here. We're simply going to say 3 plus 4. Well, I'm still within this bracket. I need to simplify that. So I've got 10. 3 plus 4, that makes 7. And I've got 10 bracket 7. Now, if you ever see a number outside of a parenthesis, and remember that this bracket serves as a, as a parenthesis, it always means multiplication. A lot of times in fifth grade and above, we don't write multiplication as an x. We don't write it as a dot. We'll simply put it outside of a parenthesis, and it's always assumed that we're going to multiply. So really, that's 10 times 7. If you really want to make it look like the old-fashioned multiplication you can, that's 10 times 7. So that's going to be 70. Now watch what happens if we did the wrong thing right up here. What if I did my 10 bracket? What if I did my 3 plus 12 first? That'd be 15 divided by 3, which would be 10, and bracket 5. And you notice how that would get me a 50, which is a choice, but it's the wrong answer. I need my answer of D70.